Hi. On the occasion of Brain Tumor Day, this disease affects 5 to 10 people in 100,000 or 1 lakh population of the general population. Why is it so important? Because there are 120 different types of brain tumors and it is being classified based on their morphology, on their place where it involves and it is extremely important because brain is a non-forgiving organ and each of those areas which it affects, it produces different types of functional problems. For example, when a tumor affects the temporal lobe, it can on the left side it can affect speech, on the frontal lobe it can affect other kind of executive function, in the parietal lobe it can affect sensory function, in the occipital lobe it can affect visual function, in the cerebellum it can affect coordination. Each of these areas are extremely important and one would understand its importance only once it is lost. So the primary goal of uh, a neurosurgeon is to find out what is the type of tumor, where is it involving and based on the investigations, as of today we have got high-end MRI which can, uh, the magnetic resonance imaging which can pick up brain tumors clearly. There is diffusion tensor imaging which can tell exactly where the normal tracks are going and then there is uh, navigation and uh, which will allow us to go directly to the point where the tumor is involved and then there is functional MRI wherein we can clearly map out where the function of a particular area uh, of the brain uh, for example speech is coming from. Based on all these information we can find out uh, which are the areas which can be safely taken out and which needs to be preserved. Having said that the safest time to do a surgery is when the patient is awake to assist the patient and this is done uh, when the patient is awake the surgery is going on and patient can continuously assess and give us a feedback as to how things are going and she, is, she or he is able to move her hands and uh, speak well. This is called awake surgery or awake craniotomy. Now uh, with the multiple types of brain tumors there are gliomas, there are meningiomas. So, Tumors which arise from the brain cell is called the gliomas normally, that's the most common lot. Then there is from the brain coverings called the meningiomas. Then there are other uh, tumors which arise from primitive endocrine tumors, uh, ectodermal tumors called medulloblastomas which occur in younger age group. Uh, then there is metastasis when it spreads from another part of the body and comes to the brain. Each of these tumors have different forms in which they may uh, grow and different prognos uh, prognostic value and so each of them needs to be treated in a different way. On the whole we need to identify it early and uh, with proper diagnosis and get treated with uh, where it can be done safely uh, so that there is no function which is compromised however maximum tumor is taken out. There is when I say maximum tumor is taken out, most surgical, uh, if you go into data, about 64% of all brain tumor surgeries have some amount of residual tumor. Why does residual tumor remain? Because one is scared that if they take out this tumor, the patient is left with a deficit. So one of the safer ways to do it is doing it along with neurophysiological monitoring or mapping, wherein we can check the function of the patient, like as I just told you, doing the surgery awake is extremely beneficial and if the surgery is done maximum safe resection maximum amount of tumor is taken out we get a proper pathological diagnosis then adjuvant therapy in the form of chemotherapy or radiation if required may be supplemented and at the on the whole this will give a comprehensive treatment a holistic treatment and the patient can be cured completely thank you